everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can change the colors of your square knot throughout your macrame artwork using an alternating square knot senate. This method was made famous by Rachel from the Lark's Head Shop where she is known for creating amazing landscape and other pictures within a wall hanging type of artwork. Rachel recently released her brand new macrame book called Nature Macrame where there are a bunch of different projects incorporating this method into wall hangings and even some other fun projects. I'm going to teach you guys how to make this method and then hopefully afterwards you guys can all go check out her book and learn how to incorporate this method into wall hangings guided step by step within her book. Now let's get started. To begin, start by attaching two cords to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot so that we have four cords hanging down to work with. Now bring in your first colored string. We're going to attach this colored string to the four cords already attached here hanging down with a square knot. I'm just going to place this cord behind all four cords hanging down. Then. To attach it with a square knot, I'm going to take the side here on the right over all four cords to form a loop. Then my cord on the left side is going to go over the right cord, behind all four cords, and then up through the loop. Then I'm going to pull that nice and tight and slide it into place at the top. Now to finish my square knot, I take the side here on the left over all four cords to form a loop. Then the side on the right goes over the left cord, behind all four cords in the middle, and then up through the loop. Pull it tight. Now I just keep repeating my square knots until I have reached the desired length using this color. it's time to bring in my new color of cord. I'm going to take this cord and place it behind all the cords hanging down, including the green, and then tie a square knot as I did at the top. As I tighten this up, I want to push those green cords towards the back so they are hidden. Then I'm going to finish out my square knot remembering to go around all the cords, including the green. Now I'm going to keep tying my square knots using this color around all the cords until I've reached the desired length. just like that. And now I'm actually going to go back to my green color and use it again. To do this, I'm going to pull those green cords outwards to the front and I'm going to tie it around all the cords, including the yellow, with more square knots. When you tie the first half of that first square knot, we're going to push the yellow cords towards the back, 
so they stay hidden. You can adjust this as you tie at the start or whatever's easiest for you. Just like that. Now, I'm not planning on using this yellow color again in my project, so what I can actually do now is flip this around and cut these strings right off. So that first square knot tied around these yellow cords to keep them locked into place. So now, once I cut them off, I'm not gonna be afraid of this coming undone or anything like that. Then I flip my project back around and I keep working with the green. Secure the end of our project, all we're going to do is flip this around once again and we're going to take these cords and tuck them up through that first square knot or I guess the last square knot. I like to use a tapestry needle to do this. So once you have your cord threaded through your tapestry needle, you're just going to go right up that first square knot right in the middle and pull the cord up gently. just like that. Repeat with the other side as well. Then you can just take a pair of your scissors and trim it off right here where it comes out at the top. And now these cords are hidden and this is what it looks like in the front with all those pieces hidden and secured. If you guys enjoyed learning how to make the square knot alternating color method, please make sure you check out Rachel's new book, Nature Macrame, so you guys can incorporate this method into making amazing projects. If you love nature and landscapes and you want your artwork to look like an actual photo in a wall hanging, then this book is definitely one you guys do not want to miss. I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to check it out if you would like. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.